This is a podcast of 98FM's Dublin Talks. Remember, catch the show live Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. 98FM. Melanie, you're on 98FM. Hi, Melanie. How's it going? Grand, thank you. What did you want to say? Yeah, like, uh, my view is probably, like, a little bit more simplistic, as in I think that, like, they're just slow. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like they're so desperate that one relationship broke up, so they want another baby daddy, like, who's going to stick around and be daddy for baby number one, and maybe to cement her place in his life that she'll get pregnant with baby number two or three. But hang on for one second. Uh, you just heard a message that I read out a moment ago from Kaylee, and she says, and I'll read it again, I know nothing about my birth father. I grew up my, with my brother's father for a time. Then my mother remarried someone else. So we all had a stepfather. That didn't work out either. And now she's in a relationship and uh, we wish her the best. She's unlucky with relationships. No, she nothing sounds to do like with a being slut. a slut. Yeah, to me, she just sounds like a man eater. No. Do you know what I mean? A, Why is I, it? Like, hang on. <laughs> L- listen to what our daughter says. She says, my mom just happens to be unlucky with relationships. Unlucky or slutty? Unlucky. It happens to be. So why is everybody else not unlucky like that? If that was your mum, would you be really happy to think that that was your mother? Like, would you not feel that your mother was a bit of a village bike? I think we uh, we all love our mothers, don't we? I think that these women, in my that, view, uh, I really, think they really? need to start keeping their legs closed. Listen to I that. don't think that they need to go having kids for different men. Like, just have a bit of respect for yourself and close your legs and keep your pants on. Like, I just, it drives me mad, these, and the so-called blended families. They're not blended families, they're messed up families. Like, you shouldn't be having kids with someone that you don't want to okay, so, uh, raise do, your do, child do, with. Do, do you have children? I have one child. Okay, you've one child, okay. And, yeah, uh, and I won't be having kids with anyone else. Okay, so you're you're still in a relationship with the yeah, father like of your child? Yeah, like, we're engaged, we're getting married in 2018. Okay, lovely, congratulations. Um, God forbid that your marriage doesn't work out. Well, I wouldn't be marrying him if I told him. Obviously, like, who would? But uh, things happen in life and uh, sometimes... Yeah, but I wouldn't have kids with with someone else because I wouldn't do that to my child. Okay, it's so really, if, if, Adrian, if, can if, I just put you in a scenario? On, like, imagine on, you've got if, three if, kids. If, hang on, you've got three kids for three different men, okay? So Friday comes and your kids are going off to stay with their dad. You're doing three different drop-offs. My question to you again is, God forbid that your marriage should uh, um, fall apart and you've got a child. Um, are you... Oh, she's gone. Let me try and get her back in a second. Um, Saoirse, what do you make of that sort of attitude? I just think it's awful because she doesn't know whether her husband is going to go out in two years and cheat on her. Like, these things happen. You know, your relationship can go through a really tough time. It can break down and one of you can cheat, one of you can do something crazy and the relationship breaks down. So the next man she meets, she might fall in love with, and he might want kids. So is she just going to stop, and she loves him, so she's not going to have kids with this guy because her first guy was a douche. I just don't, like... No, I don't, I don't, I really, I don't really get that myself. Do me a favour, stay there for one second if you can, please, um, Saoirse. 6797981 is our telephone number. You can text or WhatsApp us on 87. 087- Seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight oh eight seven seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight. 0877 Now, uh, Jeremy is here with uh, messages coming in on text message, on WhatsApp, and through our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Adrian K and Jeremy D. Now, we take text messages at face value. I don't know how true this is. Um, I've, I've heard of stories of this as well, but you, you don't know if it's true. I know a girl who's 25, and she's on her seventh pregnancy at the moment with four fathers. All the kids have different surnames. Now that's dysfunctional, isn't it? Is it? Well, where, that's the where, question. Where every single one of your, your children has a, has a different surname. Of course it is. My mom was in an abusive relationship, says this person, and left her husband when she was pregnant with my sister. Two years later, she met my dad. Uh, 34 years later, they're happy together. That's not the issue. We're not talking, this is not the issue we're talking about. We're not talking about whether or not you should stay with an abusive partner or move on. We're talking about about women uh, and men, for that ma- for that matter, uh, but it's it's generally women because unfortunately it's generally women who are left to pick up the pieces of it. But we're talking about women who consider it normal to have multiple children with multiple partners. So that's the issue that we're talking about. And um, is that woman uh, that you have on the line at the moment expecting uh, people to stay in relationships just so they don't have multiple partners with multiple children? But well, that's what she said, didn't she? 
Uh, that, yeah, pretty much. That, that, that if you get out of a relationship, you shouldn't have uh, more children. That's what she said, yes. If, uh, she said if her marriage falls apart, God forbid and all that, uh, she wouldn't have another child with somebody else. Yeah, here's another message uh, about that girl. Melanie, how stuck up is that girl? She lives in an ideal world, but sadly that is not the world the rest of us live in. Uh, people move on. They have children with other people. So what? Um, that's an awful thing to say uh, about a woman who has a child with multiple fathers. Uh, things have moved on from the laundries, the days of the laundries. So long as it's a loving family, people should butt out. Here's the thing, uh, Darina, and to everybody else who texts it in. You all judge families like that. And if you saw a story in the news, or if there was a mother, if there was a woman on this show now, at this very moment in time, who had five children for five different fathers, fair enough, she loves them all, but would you not consider that dysfunctional? Would you, Adrian? I guess we, we both grew, grew, grew up in a family that was uh, that was traditional. Yeah, but... All, all your brothers and sisters had the same mother and father. But now I live and my kids are a blended family. That's it's just... The, it's, a, it's a blended the, family. Uh, the modern way. Six seven nine seven ninety eight one is our telephone number. Text or what's off the program? Oh eight seven seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight. Danny, you're on ninety eight FM. How are you, Danny? How's it going? Good, Danny. Why are you so annoyed? Well, that Melanie wants an absolute idiot to start off with, right? Come on. You know what people are going through now. I go. For, I, I'm from a broken family myself, and everything's grand. We get on deadly. You know everything's good. She just rings up every time, disagreeing with everything you say, and it's just wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Well, in fairness, she hasn't been on the air in weeks, but... Um, M- M- Melanie, what you're saying is just downright wrong. Yeah, like, I mean, he's the, obviously the most citizen. He's from a broken family, and he sounds so well brought up. I mean, I think he's just really proving my point. Um, I well, don't hell, think that these families... I don't think these are, you're, you're not a part of a proper family. So, I mean, these women should keep keep their leg closed that's just what I think I don't think they're probably Melanie I have, to go, I have to go back to the point uh, from a moment ago uh, where you said if uh, God forbid your marriage should fall apart you you will never have another child with another man will you not? No because I wouldn't do that to my child I think So ma- okay so imagine uh, and again it's a doomsday scenario but your marriage breaks up Yeah and, like that's not going to happen Never say never we've quite yeah, a high it won't happen it won't Right, whatever. Um, uh, but say it does, and uh, you, you split up, and whatever, and then you get into a new relationship, and you go and get married again. There will be no children in that marriage, would there not? No, because I wouldn't do that to my child. Like I'd be going to drop off to like one dad on a Friday, and then and okay, we'll go to the first guy I slept with. Now we we'll go to the second. Oh, sure. Why don't we go to a third or fourth? Do you know what I mean? It's like the slut run. Here's my past. All the ghosts of my past, like keep your legs closed. I don't think it's necessary to have kids for different men. I don't see why. Okay, you don't see it's. Ne- you don't think it's necessary. Uh, Adrian, you're on ninety eight FM. How are you, Adrian? Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm just. I'm just laughing here to myself at that manly one. <laughs> she hasn't a clue about life. <laughs> Not a clue. Not a clue, love. What are you to judge other people for, right? Two because different kids. It's not kids about you. Men. Listen, you had your little say now. It's my turn, okay? It's my turn to have a say. Please stay quiet for a minute, right? Okay, you don't tell me to stay quiet. Yeah, well, it doesn't well, don't just, tell me to stay quiet. Will you I let me speak, quiet, on, Will you let me speak? Sorry, go on, Adrian. I'll let you speak. Go on. But, uh, she's judgmental of two kids, right? By two different fathers, right? Uh, do you know what the inconvenience of her is? Having to get into the car and bring the child to the father. Having to bring the children to the father. The inconvenience no is hers, not the children. No it is it is an inconvenience for you because yeah, you have it stay there yourself. You just said it. It's an inconvenience. Because you'll have to drop one here, drop one there. What's that? An inconvenience for you, love. Not for the no, child. The child comes first, not you. And who are you to judge other people? That's why I wouldn't have it. You're having to, you're having a notion about I life. Have and you're marrying a chap, God love that chap. Yeah, if that never happens, happy. God love him. Know, How's he going to get to see his kids? Let because me ask, you'll okay. end up having another child. Melanie, for another fella. Melanie you let me ask you. These things happen. Okay, Mel- Melanie, let me ask you. Do you believe that it is dysfunctional? Yeah. Did I not just say that? It's like a dog having litters for different dogs. Like, I mean, we're not animals. Ah, get away. The so only dog there is whore. Do you know what? You're a total gent. Just... You're, just you're, you're having a clue. Them. You're having a clue about yeah, life. I actually do These things, people, know you don't. You know yeah, you don't. 
You're having a clue. It's not about it's not about the person okay, not calling let, the person name. Let me read this message that's just come in. I'm in a blended family. I have a broken family, like she calls it. My marriage fell apart after having two boys. Uh, that one thinking her marriage won't break up. Yeah, right. Uh, says this message. Um, well, I know how to keep my man happy. So. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, whatever. You couldn't. Sorry, whatever. You couldn't. Uh, and I have another boy with my now uh, partner. My ex wants nothing to do with my kids, and my partner is the father figure my boys have. I work hard, and, and I'm God so love your boys. God love them. Like who? Who's your dad? I don't know. Yeah, like, God, lo- God love her. God love her boys because uh, they happen to have a dickhead of a father who wants yeah, nothing to do with like them. Two dads. So which one? Do you know what I mean? I can imagine Father's Day in her house. Well, uh, because, the fa- hang on, because the father of her children is a dickhead, uh, there's only one man around on Father's Day. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have kids with a dickhead. It's that simple. <laughs> oh, I've said this before. I hope it always stays sunny for you. Amanda, you have two kids for two fathers. Um, wow. And what did you want to say? Well, uh, yeah, um, Adrian, don't know if you can hear me too well because the line's pretty bad. I, I can hear you perfectly, yeah. Grand, okay. Yeah, no, I do. And I think it's a case of... And, um, you know, what? you've got to get rid of the bitterness between the parents and then the children will really, really benefit. Um, I was married. My husband had an affair um, while I was pregnant. Um, however, I gave him full access. I accepted his second wife, no problem whatsoever, and um, went into another relationship. was going to work out, had a second child. And um, that didn't work out. But myself and all the, the two dads get on really, really well. And it's just a matter of we have agreed that one night a month um, we take the children, myself, the two dads, the wife, <laughs> any other, um, and my, oh my, my ex-partner's uh, girlfriend, we all go to the cinema and we go for a meal, we all go together. That, uh, that sounds and very uh, civilised. It is civilised and the, matter, the fact of the matter is there's too much going on in the world at the moment of women saying you've no rights to your children. If you give the dads all the rights in the world, exactly what they're entitled to and more, it will work and for the benefit of the children. And that's what I did. And we all get along fine. And the girls, the girls have my surname, but they have their dad's surnames as well. So it works out. Now, uh, Melanie, you, you work uh, uh, out. Uh, Melanie yeah, that is very mature. Uh, Sorry, hang on. That's not confusing at all. That's just after proving my point. She brings out all the men she slept with and their girlfriends, and he brings out the women he's slept with and their whatever else. Like like some big orgy bringing the kids out for the day. That's a disgusting thing to say. Well, that's how I feel, and that's what I think. I think it's like some big orgy of everybody who's slept together. Let's go and confuse my kids even more. Well, look, it's a case of everybody has their own way of working things out. I'm really um, noticing, Adrian, a tone in the show, like in terms of the people calling in who have broken up families and like dysfunctional families. I'm noticing a bit of a tone here in terms of... Which is what? Like... A kind of a class thing. I'm noticing, oh, here, that, the people, man, man, sorry, I'm noticing that the people calling in tend to be lower class Dublin. Oh, we're ringing here in we go. Good God sorry. almighty. Yes, Adrian, Amanda. can I come in there? The yes, Adrian, Amanda, come I am noticing. Can I come in there? Yeah, I actually came from a very high class family. An extremely oh, high class like family. You really however, like however, I actually now live on Bread I know that your accent is changing there as you're talking to me. That's fine. Yeah, no, I'm actually you born and bred. Excuse me, can I, Adrian, can I come in there? I'm actually born and bred in Malahide. Oh, I was right. schooled. I was schooled privately. Oh. All right. However, well, then your parents I live on. Their I li- back excuse me. Can you let me finish idiot. now, please? And don't be rude. However, I now live on the breadline. But why I live on the breadline? Because I put everything I have into my children and into their education. I don't come first anymore. My children do. Their I'm education. sure the question of who comes and their first in your house is come very, in very questionable. <laughs> well, you can question all you, you see, want. Uh, it doesn't make any difference Mel- to me. Melanie, You're I fully have to say, I, I, find, I find your whole outlook uh, a little bit pathetic. I don't honest. really care. Like, I'm giving my opinion, which I'm yeah, entitled to. Uh, I know you are. Uh, that's what we do but on I, this I'm, program. And about the class thing, like, I'm literally just making a point that I'm sure everybody sorry, else is thinking there is a difference Marriages in Fox Rock don't break down, do they not? You will so not, ridiculous. Adrian. I'm yeah. so ridiculous. Adrian, stop it. Stop sorry, it. Now. Adrian, I stop it, Melanie. You, you, stop. you go to think that you won't see the same, or you won't, you won't see the same amount in Fox Stop Rock, it, Melanie. Now, seriously, you, you want to grow up. Um, and, and like I said, I hope it always stays sunny for you. Marriages break up every day. It's sad, but it's true. Dermot, you're on 98 <laughs> FM. How are you, Dermot? How are you there? On Is she place? gone? P- pardon me? Is she gone? Is she gone? Oh, no. I'm still here. 
Go on, you're still here, yeah, yeah. You're, 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 you're not going anywhere. I'm not intimidated by a few scangers. Right, okay, right. Let me speak, please, if you don't mind. Um, you're going on about the, the women keeping their legs closed. Yeah. And not keep Why didn't you keep your legs closed? I'm not, I'm not a No, hang on, hang on. Sorry, what's her name? Melanie, it's a reasonable question. Um, why did you have a child before you got married, for example? Yeah, this isn't about having kids, like, before marriage. Oh, this what is about having kids? You've just asked me a question, I'd like to answer it. It's very this hard to hear both of you. Go on, what's your answer to that question? Children. That's what this is about. Sorry? This is about bastard children. Melanie, get off the phone now. I'm not talking to you anymore. Goodbye. Not having that. Stephen, last comment on this. What do you want to say? Hi, how you doing? Um... Yeah, basically... Sorry, lads, Melanie, uh, sorry, our... excuse me for one second, Stephen. Uh, don't ever put her on the show again, lads. That's disgusting what she just said. Well, obviously you put her on. That was disgusting <laughs> what she just said. Sorry, lads. I'm just no, no need for no, that. Go on, anyway. Um, very quickly, yeah. what do you want to say, Stephen? No, I was raised uh, in a single home uh, with my mother. My father ran out when I was uh, about three months old. Uh, he ca- tried to come back in when I was 12 and then didn't, he ran off again. That's not on my mum. That's on him. Hmm. I, my mum did her best to raise me and everything. I've, she's worked her basically ass off nine to five in a civil service job to try, you know, give me the education, give me the life that, you know, she could do. And fairness to her, I have the full education. I am currently heading to my job that I work for myself. Okay, the, the conversation uh, today, though, is about oh, li- no, I know. Li- living in a family where there are multiple children with multiple fathers and whether yeah, or not that's yeah. a dysfunctional no, you're de- no, you're dead. No, you're dead right on that. You're dead right on that. Uh, the thing is, though, even in my family, my cousin Debbie, for example, she has three kids from three different fathers. and But uh, they're spaced out. They do have different last names. But the thing is about it, it's not about having a father or having even multiple fathers. It's about having the right people in your family and taking care of those people. But, yes, it's about exactly. role models uh, in your uh, family and, how and it bro- raises the children correctly. And about how you're brought up. All right, Stephen, I'm sorry to cut across you, but I'm, I'm actually out of time. Um, Adrian, I'm from quite a mixed family. I have uh, an older half-brother from my mom who was uh, put up for adoption when she had him. He's back in our life and we love each other. I've one full sister with my, <clears throat> excuse me, my mom and dad. My parents uh, split when I was five. My dad remarried with a woman who was, and this story goes on and on and on and on and on, I have to tell you um that's what we call the modern blended family isn't it and um there's a sorry um, there's a whatsapp message uh, that is the correct term though adrian this is referring back to that disgusting comment that uh melanie made i'm sorry to that person who uh, describes that as the uh, correct term no it's not i'm not even going to repeat it uh, it doesn't warrant being repeated it was a grotesque thing to say and it is not the correct term to use in 2016 or 2017 uh, ireland anyway look thanks very much indeed for all of your calls comments texts and opinions this is 98 FM's Dublin Talks. The show getting Dublin talking. Every morning from 10. Adrian Kennedy. Dublin Talks on 98.